Welcome back to our special series, Starting Block, a segment dedicated to finding small companies making a big difference. Today we look at startups in emerging markets. Global economic growth is expected to reach 3.5% this year, but the IMF says emerging markets will top that, growing by 4.3% in 2015, and they predict it will be even better next year. Still, that's a slowdown from previous estimates. Undereducated populations, limited access to technology, and poor infrastructure are some of the factors holding back development. That is why entrepreneurs and technologies that remove those obstacles are in such high demand. Move over solar power, kinetic energy is ready to take the alternative energy spotlight. That is the power of the body's natural movement. It's also the power source energizing a new British startup. PaveGen creates floor tiles that convert the power of foot traffic into electricity. The invention is being tested on a football pitch in Brazil where it's shining a light on a favela. Lucrecio Franco has this report from Rio de Janeiro. This football tournament is taking place in one of Rio de Janeiro's favelas, or slums. The players, as most Brazilians, are football crazy. They run, kick, jump. However, all this spark is not being wasted. This is the first ever football pitch to use energy from the players' feet. Located at the heart of the Morro da Mineira favela in the north of Rio, the pitch has 200 tiles under the turf that capture and store the kinetic energy created by the footballer's steps. Combined with solar panels installed around the field, it can power the floodlights overhead, so they can also play at night. It opened in September and has become a local attraction and a source of pride. Having a football pitch with kinetic energy, the first one in the world, in our community was a big surprise. Neither me or anyone would ever imagine we would have in our community a football pitch with all that technology. The technology was developed by British startup Pavigen, a London-based company created by industrial designer engineer Lawrence Campbell Cook, who partnered with Royal Dutch Shell to turn the favela into a real-life science experiment. Lawrence spoke with the CCTV via satellite from London. So, um, it was a really disruptive use of our technology. We didn't know it would work until it actually was installed. And um, ultimately, it was served a couple of purposes. One, it was the energy mix for the future. So working with solar as well, it was showing how tangible we can actually be on a, on a large macro scale, but also inspiring future generations. This project in the Morro da Minera is not only about testing the first of its kind player-powered pitch in a poor community, but it also aims to make young people here and around the world think about alternative energy sources and science studies. If I could, I would use those tiles in the field to generate free lighting for everyone in the favela because we really need it here. Pavagen has installed similar tiles in train stations in Europe, London's Heathrow Airport, and sports events such as last year's Paris Marathon, among other projects. But it aims to make this clean technology as affordable as any linoleum flooring. Each tile now costs about 500 US dollars, but the price is expected to fall as the company refines its manufacturing process. Today, um, we've deployed it in over 20 countries. Um, we've worked with some of the biggest brands in the world, but our challenge is to really bottom out that cost so that there's no reason why everyone can't buy it and every single street can't be covered in, in our tiles. So it's very near and it won't be 25 years. Our technology will be ready in the next two to three years to be deployed en masse um, citywide. Rio's football pitch has proven to be a success. The energy stored by the player's steps generates 100% of the light needed to illuminate the pitch every night giving everyone in the favela a safer place to enjoy football while taking part in what could be a solution for energy dependency. For this community, it is the greatest goal ever scored. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.